Hello there. Good morning. Hello. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> so tell me, who are you? I'm Floris van Hooghuizen, uh, co-founder of Barco. Okay, and, and, and share me, uh, what is Barco? And, and, yeah. Barco is the peer-to-peer -peer boat sharing platform. Uh, started out uh, last year in 2014, went live in September 2014 um, and uh, building the platform um, yeah, along. And, and where did your idea came from? Well, that's a funny story actually. Well, uh, me and one of uh, my co-founders, we were uh, drinking coffee uh, outside, um, outside the office uh, last year, approximately the end of January, beginning of February. And we just read an article uh, on Airbnb and um, we were discussing the article and as we were discussing that um, yeah, a, a first boat came uh, of the season, came, uh, came sailing along and yeah, it was some kind of a light bulb what began to glow. Uh, and we, we said to each other, why, don't, why, why isn't there actually uh, Airbnb for boats yet? And um, as we um, well, as we discussed that, we we began to do um, uh, we began to do some research, yeah, and and the the market and potential appeared to be huge. And of course, everybody wants to build the next Airbnb or Uber. So, and I think all, also quite some others are trying. Um, yeah. How did you make your first steps from the idea to your first uh, to your first platform? Yeah, well, uh, at first we um, uh, we did we did we did uh, w yeah we we did the branding with with uh, with the three of us, three co-founders. We thought of the idea how to um, uh, yeah, how to develop it. Um, quite quickly, um, our developer, our currently our current CTO, joined the team. And we just uh, we just built a pre-registration -re platform. And um, while we did that, we we pitched the idea, uh, pivoted it to uh, friends and family, and um, yeah, reached out to the first uh, yeah, to, to some press, and they picked it up real quickly. Um, from then, um, yeah, it was kind of a roller coaster ride because uh, everybody was real enthusiastic about the idea, and we. Uh, yeah, we figured out. Okay, guys, this is we've got really something here. So uh, we have to really uh, speed up all the developments and uh, get this thing uh, live quickly. So uh, that resulted in uh, in our launch in September 2014. Um, that was yeah, actually that was great to have one month still with good weather in the Netherlands to have a sort of a proof of concept. And from there on, we developed uh, we, we developed the platform uh, going live uh, next week with our uh, platform 2.0. Uh, build the team, uh, really focused on building the community, and um, yeah, our main focus was to um, uh, to get a, co a collaboration with a big in insurance company. And it, it sounds like a really cool roller coaster uh, entrepreneur story, but there must be some moments in the last year uh, where you made some mistakes, where you think, okay, when I'm going to do this again, I will never do that again. So, uh, what are your most valuable lessons you learned uh, the last last year in this roller coaster? Most important lessons we've learned um, is that we could have, uh, we might could have been more uh, strict on the on the content we allowed on our platform. We experienced that is that is really really important to have uh, great content on your platform. So that's definitely a thing we're going to change in uh, our platform 2.0. We're going to launch um, and. Um, from right from the beginning, we could have um, uh, we could have brought ma more structure into the development team. Um, we now experience that development is such a key a key issue uh, in in building a platform like Barco. So, d yeah, we would definitely would have uh, brought more structure into that with uh, more f more front end and back end freelance or in house developers. And more concrete, because uh, I know in the beginning uh, you didn't build uh, the platform yourself uh, uh, totally. Uh, you also mentioned 
Yeah. But, uh, that's uh, the CTO was part. It's part of the founder team uh, on a later stage. So, uh, how did the, the, the development of the software was in the beginning, and why did you decide to do it all yourself at the end right now? Yeah. Well, that is that is exactly the thing. Uh, the thing I, I mean. Uh, at first, we we chose to, um, and and we we still think that that was a good decision to to um, get the backend development uh, from um, from a software company and develop our own front end development, and. Right away, we could start. Uh, we could. Uh, we started off with that. Um, we went live quite uh, uh, quite quickly after we had the pre-registration platform. Um, but eventually, when you, when you grow, when you grow, you want to be more flexible and you want to have all the software um, in your own company, your own hands. So that's why we decided to uh, build it all ourselves and uh, redevelop the platform. Um, yeah. So so th yeah, th th that is a thing. As I mentioned before, that um, we could have done that more in an early stage, but on the other hand, it helped us uh, to launch quite quickly and to get our idea on the market. Yeah, yeah, I, I really agree about that. And what about the funding? Yeah, well, we started off with uh, with our own funding, uh, with the own money we put in the company. After that, we did a, a small seed funding round via uh, Leap Funder. You, you might uh, you yeah, might be familiar with that, um, and that is based on convertible notes. Um, so that was actually a great uh, method uh, for us to raise money while you don't have a valuation yet of your company. Um, so start out with that. Um, now, uh, informal, um, a couple of weeks of formal also stepped in, and we're making our, uh, yeah, we're preparing us for the for the next round. Yeah. Okay. And, and can you share more information about that? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, with the next round, um, uh, we really want to accelerate to uh, in building the Dutch community. And um, and well and uh, have a look at uh, possible uh, entry strategies in uh, one or two other uh, European countries. Okay, and and at what way are, are you going to raise the, uh, the money to make this acceleration? Sorry. At what way are you going to 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 get the money to make this acceleration? Yeah, this acceleration we're going to uh, do it via uh, Simbit campaign. Uh, so crowdfunding uh, campaign. Uh, we're going to start that the begin um, begin of June, um, and um, yeah, b before right before that, we're we're holding some investment uh, meetings with uh, investors, uh, investor meetings, uh, investors who um, uh, yeah, in the past were interested or now are interested. So we could do our story and um, uh, yeah, present. Uh, um, present the phase we're in right now, and um, yeah, share them in, in in our thoughts and in our in our strategy and in our in our plans. And are these investors are, uh, are also going to invest uh, through the Simbit campaign, or is it a separate uh, thing? No, it's via Simbit campaign. Yeah, okay. through Simbit campaign. Okay, yeah. cool. And you said uh, the first round with, with Leap Thunder, there were convertible notes, so you didn't have to put on a, a validation uh, with Simbit. You have to do that. Uh, so you have to say, uh, to, to say okay, I'm going to, to, to give away or sell this percent of stocks in my company, and with that you also make the validation. At what way? Yeah. At what way do you make the validation of of, of a startup that is now running for a year? It's quite hard, I think. It's it definitely it's quite hard, and um, well, honestly, you just look also at other. You, you talk a lot with other uh, co-founders of other startups, and um, everybody is in the you know in the same situation. So um, yeah, uh, it, it's so hard. It's so hard to tell, but uh, but. but uh, once you have, for instance, um, a an, an, uh, first informal uh, abort, um, you can determine in, in some way a valuation. And um, yeah, it's, it's also uh, how possible investors think the valuation is. Yeah, you, you determine, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, you determine, I, I think, with two parties. So. Uh, and, and, and do you also have a, a, a more senior advisor in the company, something like a board of advice that helps you with all this new uh, stuff for you? Yeah, definitely, definitely. We're, we're young guys. Uh, started uh, companies uh, before though, but 
uh, we believe uh, we can learn a lot from um, uh, f from a board of advisors, for instance, from guys who are who are in the in the tech business, uh, or for instance, are in the boating business. Um, so we've got a group of four or five. Uh, elderly guys who are uh, helping us out um, yeah, on, on a monthly basis. Okay, cool. And can you, can, you, can, you, can you already now share some information about Sibit campaign, like your uh, uh, target uh, for the campaign and your validation? Yeah. Um, well, our target for the campaign is uh, 250. A thousand euros, and um, what we want to well, as I explained uh, to you earlier, we want to really focus on uh, the acceleration. Um, it's a lot of online marketing, um, it's uh, some uh, uh, yeah, uh, optimization of our, of, our, of our software, front end and back end, and it's also building the organization. So, um, now we're our team consists of uh, seven uh, enthusiastic guys. Uh, so three co-founders, um, uh, one guy on sales, one more on brand building, business development, uh, yeah, CTO and, um, and a community manager. So yeah, next steps would be, for instance, more concentration on growth hacking or um, an extra community manager, um, uh, one or two extra developers. So those are things we're, yeah, we're, we're exploring right now and uh, discussing and, um, yeah. And, and, uh, and how many percent of the stocks are you going to sell uh, for this two and a half uh, uh, K, two and a thousand K? Uh, Twenty percent. Okay. That's, uh, yeah. that's good validation. And I'm curious because uh, 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 the platform part is, 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 is really new, uh, especially also in, uh, in, in, this, in this branch. But you, have, you also have to work with traditional organizations uh, like, uh, like the insurance and, and the harbors. So in yeah. what way do you convince the traditional organizations like the, 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 the harbors, the, the, the insurance, but also the investors? Uh, how do you convince them that your plan is good and that they can trust these uh, uh, three uh, young guys that are uh, building up a, a, a cool business. Yeah, well, um, as I said, you know, at first we were really keen on uh, getting a big insurer on board. We believe that is, um, yeah, th that is so important to build this platform. And um, we're going to announce that uh, the, at the end of uh, at the end of May, last week in May, uh, we just made an arrangement, a cooperation uh, with a big worldwide insurer. Um, and yeah, th that also is important for possible investors. They see, well, if, if, if such a big insurer is, uh, is backing these guys up, um, yeah, there, there must be something into it. Um, it also had a lo has a lot, of, uh, a lot to do with, uh, with the team. Um, we believe really in, in, um, yeah, in, in how, uh, how the team is, um, how the team is set and which, in which way everybody uh, works with each other. And um, yeah, from from yeah, right at the thir uh, at the first, uh, we yeah, we really focused on uh, on on building the team in the right way. Yeah, yeah, I get the, the good decision. And so you're also working uh, with uh, with existing harbors. Um, yeah. And what I'm curious about it because normally the the, the, the platform model is really scalable uh, because because uh, because you're bringing together demand and supply. So when it's growing, it's really like a snowball that's accelerating. But uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, arrangements with the uh, existing organizations like the harbors uh, is still quite a lot of time intensive uh, uh, stuff. So at what way are you going to uh, plan to accelerate the, uh, uh, um, the, the cooperations with the existing harbors? Yeah, well, um, that is uh, that is that that is a, a, a thing. Um, two guys in our organization are really focused on on uh, getting cooperations with uh, with big uh, marinas, harbors, because we believe they are um, 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 they are um, yeah a keen step in the distribution uh, process for us. Um, because they have a huge, a huge uh, network with boat owners, and we can provide them more attraction in their uh, in their sailing area, um, and they can, uh, for instance, do uh, key uh, key delivery and um, uh, and boating checkups. So it is, um, yeah, we experience uh, that it is a good, um, um, yeah, a good cooperation which marinas get uh, enthusiastic. Uh, on on uh, on yeah on the sharing economy
Yeah, yeah, I think it's, if it's, it's, it's good strategy because then you first show them that also that it's working and then the rest will, uh, will follow. Like yes, you're also really focusing on the, on the, on the, on the, on the big harvest. So yeah. um, the, the things that are going to happen uh, uh, the following weeks and months is the launch of the new platform. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, the crowdfunding campaign uh, through Synbits and also the announcement of a big global insurer uh, who is going to cooperate with, with Mark. And I think that's a really cool thing because it really shows that uh, also the established markets really believes in the, uh, or is, is at least curious about the developments of, of uh, where the sharing economy is, is going, uh, going to. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Well, yeah, as I said, two guys now really, you know, focused on, on, getting, the, on uh, getting the marinas aboard. That is one thing. Um, second thing, definitely the new platform. It gives a whole new scale, um, it provides a whole, uh, a whole new uh, functionalities uh, and gives a lot of more opportunities. And um, yeah, big insurance uh, company who is uh, going to collaborate with us is uh, is keen. It's real important. And why did you? That, why uh, last question? Why why did, did you switch from insurance company? Because uh, you you already uh, have a insurance company right now. So why did you want to switch? Well, uh, we actually don't have an insurance company right now. Ah, okay. We were in, um, yeah, we, we were talking with different insurance companies, with um, insurance companies from the Netherlands and uh, and abroad, and yeah, well, eventually um, we chose, um, nah, yeah, and we, we chose for an insurance company that um, could scale up quickly, um, was quick in the communication. Um, and um, yeah, that really wanted to adopt the uh, the sharing economy, and yeah, that resulted in um, uh, in, in the collaboration we're yet to uh, announce. Okay, cool. Sounds uh, sounds really interesting. Really looking forward. Uh, yesterday or the day after, uh, I, I I bought my first boat, so I'll, I'm also going to to place it at your uh, at your platform. Let's see how it's, uh, yeah, it works cool. in, uh, in practice. Uh, so the, the concept is uh, now you uh, have the briefcase with the uh, virtual product edition uh, laptop, the Microsoft Surface yep. Pro. Um, so now you, it's it's your turn to to really give this laptop uh, to a uh, entrepreneur in the collaborative economy that really inspires you. And I have no idea who I'm uh, who that is. So feel free to to give it to somebody in the Netherlands. And then next week at uh, nine thirty we're going to call. Uh, and I'm really curious cool. about who we're going to to talk to uh, to them. Yeah, well, great initiative, Martijn, and uh, cool, and we'll, uh, we'll provide the suitcase. Great, thank you. Have a, have a good day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Ciao.